Hello and welcome to another episode of Anything Arduino. Uh, this is the second part of a walkthrough of the seven segment LED display and how to connect it to your Arduino. If you haven't already seen it, you should watch the first part where we go through some of the basics of the seven segment LED display and how to uh, connect it directly to the Arduino. But if you're more interested, already know that other stuff and want to know how to use the 4511 uh, IC circuit uh, LED, uh, seven segment LED driver to connect to your seven segment LED display, then this is the episode for you. So we're going to build this circuit right here. And because I use a common A node, a seven segment LED display, uh, it looks like this. If I had had a common cathode, it would have been much easier. I'll show you the difference uh, and let's get right down in to do that. With a common cathode seven segment LED display, you can connect it directly from the Q output on the 4511 uh, with a resistor uh, directly to the to the LED in the display. But because we are using a common A node display, uh, we need to have a, a NPN transistor in between connected to ground. So we're going to use a BC337 because I had a lot of those lying around uh, and uh, connect it with them. If you don't do this, because everything is... is is reversed so so you need to reverse or because the seven segment LED display is reversed in in its circuitry so you have to reverse it back with the NPN so that uh, the high output from 4511 is actually a low output for the common A node LED display so because of these extras uh, that we need to use the NPN, we need to connect all the Q outputs from the uh, from the uh, 4511 uh, via the NPN transistors. And as you can see, the Q outputs have the same A through F as the LED display has. As I have shown you before, you have the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uh, all corresponding to the different pins on the display. We're now going to connect it. Pin 13 is QA. So, and we connect that to the middle pin on the BC337, which is the base. And then we go through them all. Hope you followed along there. Collector is going to be connected to the respective pin on the LED display. So A goes to A, B goes to B, and so on. And finally all the emitters are going to be connected to ground. The LED display is connected to the common A node to plus 5 volts. We also connect the 4511 to 5 volts and ground right here. And then we choose a couple of ports on the 
Arduino to connect the four uh, digital inputs. So I choose port 2 through 5. And then we need another pin for the latch. Uh, and we, we choose the next one, port 6, or pin 6 for that. So, pin 2 on the Arduino to digital 0 on the 4511. Pin 3 to digital 1. Pin 4 to digital 2. And finally, number 5 to digital 3. And then we have the latch. One final thing, we are going to connect a cable between pin 3 and pin 4, LT and BL. By doing this, we are making sure that the output pins, uh, the Q pins, always show uh, when the latch pin, uh, let's see, when LE is, goes low, the Q pins always show the number uh, represented by the four digital inputs. So now we have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, respective for the on the seven segment LED display. So this is the hookup. Let's look at the program. The code in this case will consists of. Uh, uh, we're going to use the five pins that we connected uh, to send a binary number between 0 and 9 uh, according to the binary uh, way of, of counting and uh, then we will uh, latch those this value to the to the the circuit or to the LED outputs. Uh, so let's look at the pin outs once again. We have D0 through 3 that is inputs and then we have the latch. Um, and this will be made in in binary format so there are D0, D1, D2, and D3. Four, uh, four bits. These are bits. Uh, the first bit is uh, 0 to 1, so highest value is 1. Next value is 2, next value is 4, and next value is 8. So by sending by sending zero, 1, zero, zero, 0, we will get a 1. Uh, and uh, this has to do with uh, uh, w how you count binary. Uh, if you don't know this, I'm sure there are loads of videos on YouTube and other places where you can learn this. Uh, we can't go through this now. It is quite a large and complex uh, topic. So to to just to change this this will become a 9 because you have 8 plus 1 which is 9 so uh, that's the code and then when we've written this we let we flip the LE or latch pin but uh, let's uh, yeah let's start with a blink sketch it once again has everything we need so we have D0 which is pin 2 there all our pins in the setup let's set the pin mode set the all the pins to outputs and in the digital loop we 
we will do the same as we did with the direct, directly connected uh, LED but with those four pins or those four uh, binary digits that I, I talked about before. So let's start with a zero. A zero means that we will put all the bits to zero because that will be zero. So D zero So here we write our zero and then we need to set the latch pin. We actually need to set the latch pin first as well. There. Uh, this means that uh, we can now uh, change the value and when we do the same here set it to high it will latch the value to the LEDs let's make a 1 as well Down, upload this to the Arduino. And it switches between a 0 and a 1. So let's do this for all the other all the other uh, numbers as well. There, we now have all the numbers and let's upload this to our Arduino. and we have all the numbers. And with that we now know how to connect a 7 segment LED display to the Arduino using a uh, HEF4511 um, and uh, so we saved three pins on this so now you actually have space using the HEF4511 you can have at least two uh, seven segment LEDs connected to your Arduino at the same time. Uh, next episode I'll show you the 595 and how to connect a seven segment LED display with that which will save us a lot of pins. Uh, so until next time take care, bye!